Photoshop's Remove tool makes it super easy to remove wires in one click as well as people. Here are a couple photos that I shot in Lisbon, Portugal, the Tower of Belém and the monastery that's across the street. And while you probably will never see a day like this without all these people or this obtrusive tower in here, with Photoshop, we can quickly remove these kinds of distractions. So let me show you how it works. Now, the quick way to do this is just to select your layer, make sure you have your remove tool on and click on this find distractions button up here and choose wires and cable or people. Wires and cables will remove this in one step, one click, automatically do it. With the people option, you will, after it processes and finds the people, you'll have the option to edit them. You can also customize this by selecting a specific area like that power pole, light pole thing in the other image and do that manually because there's not a, an automatic way right now to find that sort of thing. Once it's processed, you'll see that it automatically applied that to my original layer. Now, if you are a Photoshop user, you know that typically you like to do things in a non-destructive way. So let me show you how to do that in case you want to be able to edit whatever happens later on. So I'm going to undo this, and then now I'm going to choose to create a new layer here. Again, with my remove tool, I wanna to make sure that sample all layers is on, and I'm going to do the same thing, wires and cables. Now you'll notice that it has been applied to our new layer, which we can rename wires or whatever you wanna call it. But you'll also notice if I zoom in here that it has added some spots that it's created a generative fill for that I don't necessarily want. So now we can take this layer and we can add a layer mask and with our brush tool, we can erase this as long as it's on black and erase any of the parts that we don't want it to be adjusting. Command zero to full screen that image. Similarly, we can do the same thing with people. So remove tool and with people. Now notice that it has this mode here, auto, which may use generative AI, gen AI on or off. If you have it off, it's going to do a content aware fill, which for some cases it might do a decent job. I found for the people option, it tends to not look that great. And so let me show you what this looks like. Notice that once it found the people, it highlights them here. And so we can customize this with our brushes, plus or minus to add or subtract. If you have the plus button on, you can just hold the option key to subtract. So if there's a part of this where we're like, well, we don't really want to erase that part, then we don't need to. To process it, just click this check mark or press the return key on your keyboard. And you'll notice here down at the bottom that for these people down here, it didn't really do a good job. It kind of duplicated this barricade. And for anyone looking at this photo, they can see that this doesn't look that natural, right? So we could attempt and see what happens if we create a new layer again, use this. We're going to turn this off. And I'll tell you right now with it on or with auto, it looked very similar. I'm going to subtract just a little bit of this. We don't need to remove that. And let's go ahead and click that check mark to remove this. And you'll see with that option, the content aware, it just doesn't do that good of a job. So you can play around with this and it might take making a few selections and doing it one at a time, doing little bits and pieces here and there. Or you might want to just remove the parts that it's not doing a good job at and leave those people. Now these people over on the right hand side are a little distracting to me, but all these people over on the left hand side, it's natural that people are there and it's not too distracting for this image. So what I'm going to do is just remove these people over on the right hand side. So I'm just gonna put a copy of this on top so we can see before and after with those people removed and the wires removed, looking pretty good. Now, similarly with this image, I'm gonna turn off those two layers, create a new one, go to our remove tool, and if I select people, it does a great job at finding those people. 
and it does a great job at removing those people. Now for this tower right here, there's no way to automatically select that uh, using the remove tool. So what I will do is go to the remove tool. You can adjust your brush size and then I'm just going to paint onto this and highlight our tower. It's okay if we go a little bit more than necessary and we're going to process that as soon as I let go of that mouse click for brushing it, then it's going to automatically start to process and remove that tower. Now it does a pretty good job. Now you can tell that back here, if I zoom in, you can see some things change slightly in the background in this tower to the naked eye. No one's going to see that, but that is one of those things that's up to you as the artist and as the photographer when you're creating these photos, if you're okay with that. But in general, this remove tool is pretty dang awesome. I now have this image of the Belem Tower without any of the people there, which just wouldn't be possible on a typical day. And specifically for the wires, I think this is one of the most powerful features and just does make these photos look better. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in another lesson if you're watching this on YouTube or anywhere else, check out my full Photoshop course. You can find links to that over at videoschool.com. If you are watching this in the course, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in another lesson. If you haven't done so, please take a moment to leave a review and a rating for this course. Thanks so much. And we'll see you in another video. Bye.